Okay, bring it back to the committee, Senator Weiner. Um, I know this isn't your bill, but it's it's in spirit your bill, uh, Doctor. Um, uh, I was actually really excited when I saw this bill uh, because I, with all respect to the opposition, uh, dental insurance is absolutely the Wild West. Um, and, uh, you know, I think which stems from the fact that as a society, we've always treated oral health as somehow optional or a luxury um, as opposed to what we know, which is that oral health is absolutely central to overall health. You know this uh, better than most, that if you have poor oral health, that impacts so many other aspects of your health, in addition to being potentially very painful, making it harder to uh, eat, um, and uh, creating social challenges uh, for people. And yet we, we really treat it like a luxury, and a big swath of society doesn't even have uh, dental insurance at all. And even if you have good dental insurance, it, it, it's always bad. It doesn't cover nearly as much as it should. There's huge potential out of pocket. It, it hits uh, a limit very, very quickly. Um, people have to pay out of pocket or just not get um, medically necessary uh, dental care. Uh, in addition, I want to say, like, I, I have um, Delta Dental CalPERS through the state. Um, I'm guessing that that is probably among the best dental plans. It's CalPERS, it's, it, I mean, compared to other dental plans, it's CalPERS, et cetera. Um, and uh, in addition to ha always having a lot of out-of-pockets, um, my dentist recently told me that he and many, many other dentists he knows are all going out of network for Delta Dental because Delta Dental is slashing its reimbursement. So all these dentists are going out of network, uh, and that means that uh, as someone who has Delta Dental, I, I and many other uh, people are going to have to pay in advance um, and then go and f do the paperwork uh, to get reimbursed. Uh, and the re one of the reasons they're going out of network is they, Delta Dental won't even tell the dentist how much they're going to reimburse in, in advance. So you're stuck, they're stuck basically trying to collect from the patient after the fact. Uh, so it's a really bad uh, situation, and it is the Wild West, and it's long past due uh, that we start putting some of these regulations in place because dental insurance should not be treated differently than other forms uh, of health insurance. And so I'm happy to move this bill. Okay, Senator Lamont. Thank you. Uh, you know, this is an interesting conversation because I just recently, I think in the last two months, received a notice um, from my dentist uh, letting me know that my insurance, my dental insurance plan um, was now going to be out of network. Uh, and so it, you know, while we know that the there's such importance with health um, and with dental health, and it also relates to overall health for many, um, in our, for many, for all, but also particularly for communities who don't have access. So I think um, having a more comprehensive um, medical insurance, I think, makes sense. Um, we know uh, there's a lot to do, and I think of my former school board days and what we did to have volunteer dentists um, in our schools because it was so key um, to overall health. And um, while this only applies to um, the, the larger groups, I still think it's very worthwhile, and I think it is uh, part of a broader conversation of how we align the benefits, um, particularly in light of, I think, what so many are experiencing that do have coverage, um, and that coverage is inconsistent depending on where you live, um, and also um, has its own challenges that your average, uh, you know, patient might not be able to navigate uh, on their own without some broader standards statewide. So I'm grateful that this bill is coming forward. Um, do understand the concerns of the health plans, um, but certainly uh, think that there is um, much to gain if we are able to have a more comprehensive way to align it with medical. Thank you, and I, I will echo some of those same comments. I also, you know, try to be very, I try to be sympathetic to the to the plans. I understand that there's always new things, but I, I also stand on the side of, uh, uh, as a social worker too, trying to work with uh, students about how do you take how do you, how do you care for kids? I mean, one of the biggest risk factors is having you know a messed up mouth that then just continues to get, keep that child in trouble, not raising their hand, getting. I mean, it's just incredible social determinants of health live in our mouths. Um, so I'm also a supporter. We had a motion by Senator Weiner. Would you like to close, sir?